Hey guys, uh, for a while I've been showing you about uh, wireless networks, telecommunication systems, how they're built. And it's mostly been cellular and LTE. Um, I'm going to show you a little something different today. A little behind the scenes peek of some stuff most people don't see. We still use microwave communications. Not so much as previously, but a lot of people look at the towers and go, wow, those things are big, how do they get them up there? The size of some of these is what most people don't see and don't know. Here's a little peek of what it really looks like. Here's a dish that was taken down some time ago. It's a HPX10. It's a high performance cross polarity 10 foot dish. To really get the size of it, there's my Suburban right here, right across the fence from this dish. There's the dish and a Suburban. The dish is laying on its side. So when, it, when I walk up alongside it, how big does it actually look? When I'm standing beside it, yeah, that's laying on its side. You can see the pipe mounts. It has the dual feed horn there for two, uh, two different polarities, a vertical and a horizontal. This is one we took off not uh, maybe a year or so ago, year and a half ago. It's been stored here because it's really difficult to transport. It's kind of large and it may be used at a later date. So when we, when we are to work on this stuff, yeah, that's the size of it. Now we look up, up the tower, there's a six foot, an eight foot, and then way at the top, there's two more dishes. Actually there's four, two facing towards me and two facing away. And another eight foot down lower from that. Those four dishes at the very top are 10 foot dishes, like this one here. Those are a challenge to work on at the top sometimes because obviously the size of it, when you look around this side, that's like a huge kite. And that really takes the wind. Wind kicks it around, blows it around while we're trying to work on it. Makes it a little challenging. These things are very directional. Some people hear about microwave communications and uh, get scared thinking it's uh, a broad uh, array that uh, spreads everywhere. Consider this to be more like a large, easy way to say it, like a large laser beam. It points from this dish directly to another dish similar to it um, a long ways away. One of these here points from this area all the way across the water from Vancouver Island to the mainland to an island over there that receives the signal and give services to the people on the islands. It's a six gig dish, most commonly, and can transmit a huge amount of communication and phone calls through these dishes. Little sneak peek to see the size of these things and what they really are, what they look like close up, as opposed to what most people see, these dishes way up on a tower.